and support you. Just like I want to support all the other local restaurants in our area because they really do so much and many of them are suffering. Well, there are two local restaurateurs. They're making sure Centerpoint linemen and women are staying fed because these are the ones that are out there, right? <laughs> they they're, are. They are on those front lines. Yeah, they are on those front lines. Now, one of those it. restaurateurs, she's with me right here. Go ahead and introduce yourself to our viewers. My name is Rihanna Sherman and along with Michael and Sian Sagian, we own Houston Catering Concepts. I am so grateful for you guys to stop by today because you really do need a lot of recognition. 30,000 meals. It, yes, and by the end of all of this, it will probably be upward of 50,000. Um, it just unfortunately keeps going, but they are working so hard. The center point men and women, the people that are behind the scenes, they are working so hard, and you know, it is truly an honor for us to be serving them. But it's also kind of a a double-edged sword for you guys because you too don't have power. So one of our locations did not have power this entire time. We got it back, I believe, on Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. um, but we couldn't open right away because you have to replace everything. Mm -hmm. We have to get trucks. It's it's a whole slew of things that happen. Um, but not just us. So many of our colleagues, just like the the, the one that was just interviewed. Um, so many of our colleagues have not yeah. been able to open. And for small businesses, it, it is it is can be devastating. So what was the plan? What's the process? How did how were you able to provide so many thousands of meals for the line workers? So luckily our um, catering operation did not lose power. Mm -hmm. So when we got the call from Centerpoint, um, we just jumped into action and we were able to provide that. Uh, we did have a plan B, C, D, E all the way to Z. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, we did, uh, but we um, fortunately again did not have to go into those plans. So and we it's not just you two, you have a team of people who uh, they themselves don't uh, have power. Right? Correct. Our team was coming in. We were running around the clock. We were running crews from six to six and six to wow. six. Um, you know, we reached out to rental staff to help give our crews some rest and relaxation. Um, but yeah, we were running 24 hours a day around the clock. They were happy to come in because, again, fortunately, we did have power. Whereas, I would say 95% of our staff, including ourselves, did not. So as we go out and we recover and we want to help our neighbors, mm -hmm. right? How can we support local restaurants? Because they they hit hard. I know one one meat uh, steakhouse lost fifteen thousand dollars worth of meat. I mean the 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 small businesses, the big businesses, the restaurants across the city. Uh, they they lost so much mm -hmm. product staffing the best thing that we can all do is eat out for the next you know weeks and months to come yeah. and support those small businesses most hundred percent most definitely because when it comes to like my kids swim team who comes out and supports us yeah local businesses and local restaurants hundred percent well thank you so much for of being course, here today sharing your message and of course thank you for the sacrifices you're doing oh, you know our pleasure and again support Houston we are Houston strong so it's Amen. our time to show that Amen. Let's strike out Houston tire. Let's <laughs> make sure great. we stick with Houston strong. Well, we have more Houston happens coming up after the break.